Deep in the ocean, in the cold darkness, lurks a mysterious ancient creature. The Vampire Squid from Hell. Before you reach for the garlic in a wooden stake, there are two things you should know about this mystery of the deep. The Vampire Squid, first, isn't a vampire, and second, isn't a squid. Bruce Robeson is the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute's resident authority on the vampire squid. Its scientific name is Vampiratuthis infernalis, which is really a cool sounding name. It makes them sound pretty spooky and special, and, and indeed they are. Their fundamental structure is very similar to octopuses and squids. But what they really represent is the line of cephalopods before they split into 10-limbed squid and 8-limbed octopuses. They're a very ancient form, really a living fossil that tells us quite a lot about what cephalopods were like hundreds of millions of years ago. There are fossils more than 200 million years old that are virtually indistinguishable from modern day Vampiratuthis. This creature is the only known survivor of the order Vampiromorphida and has remained relatively unchanged for a long, long time. Mostly because it is extremely well adapted to its environment. Vampiratuthis lives at depths below about 600 meters, a depth range where oxygen tends to be more or less depleted. We refer to those areas as oxygen minimum zones. While most life can't survive in this harsh, oxygen-depleted environment, Vampiratuthis lives here quite comfortably. It has a relatively low metabolic rate, whereas we have hemoglobin in our blood to hold oxygen. Cephalopods have a comparable blood pigment called hemocyanin, which is very capable of holding lots and lots of oxygen. Vampirotuthis is naturally buoyant and doesn't have to expend a lot of energy to stay afloat. This footage is actually shot in real time, and as you can see, the vampire squid isn't in much of a hurry. Few other animals live in this habitat, which means there aren't a lot of predators to run away from. But it raises an interesting question. What does a vampire squid eat? While most squids and octopus feed on living prey and are predators, Vampiratuthis is very different in that it feeds on uh, particulate matter, detritus, um, aggregated marine snow particles. Marine snow consists of stuff from life processes up in the surface layers. The bodies of dead animals, dead phytoplankton cells, poop sinks slowly down to the deep sea floor. While it's not very appetizing, the fact that Vampirotuthis eats marine snow isn't as strange as how it eats it. It has a pair of long, slender filaments that come out between the first and second pair of arms. This filament has a long array of sticky short hairs which collect particles of marine snow. Once it has collected a good portion, it pulls the filament in, using its arms to scrape the food into a cavity formed by its web so it can ingest it. Everything we learn about them suggests that they are ideally suited to live where they live. It's a serendipitous combination of a particular habitat that is restrictive to many species and a habitat to which Vampiratuthis is, is beautifully adapted. For Science Friday, I'm Christian Baker. If you like this video, check out these other stories on cephalopods. 